We're moving on to our third bout of the evening here on Thai Fight League. This time, it is a super fight at 73 kilograms. Which, as I look down my bout sheet, is indeed the joint heaviest fight of the evening. That's right, the next heavy, as heavy fight, I suppose, mm. will be coming up next after this one. There you can see the live band here in Thai Fight League. If you are ever in Bangkok, Thailand, come and join us. They can see in the white corner, Kong Patom for Wan Nimit. 25 years of age from Royet Province here in Thailand. Standing at 188 centimeters tall. Professional record of 140 fights, 98 victories. Wow, 36 losses with six draws. And here's his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Tawi Chai Saoprasop Chok. His real name is Chanon Janopathun. 27 years of age, 177 meters tall from Buram province in the, in the northeastern region of Thailand. He has a total of 82 fights, 50 victories, 30 losses, and two draws. And there you can see the tail of the tape for this matchup. Of course, what stands out immediately is the height difference. I was, about to say the, I was about to say the soft power of Tawi Chai. <laughs> but there you can see 18 centimeter height advantage for Kong Patum. And also, but in the defense of Tawi Chai, much stronger mustache. Oh, yes. Speaking of mustaches, let's not forget that later on tonight, a Thai Fight League fan favorite, Kitty Sack, will be competing here tonight. I thought you were about to announce that you're about to grow a mustache as well. <laughs> I definitely don't want to do that. Oh, do I? Tell you what, if we reach 50,000 subscribers, Kevin Armlid will grow his mustache. No, don't bring me into this. <laughs> We're very close, by I'll, the way. I'll get a scolding once I get home. Now you see the referee in charge. It's Arun Kamutachat. Judges ringside. Tuan Ingobon, Pukit Prampayun, and Patanan Pongsapan. All right, so if you are just joining us, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are around 47,000 subscribers. Once again, we give thanks to everyone who uh, writes all the comments. Believe it or not, we do read them all. And uh, hit the like button. It helps the algorithm or something. So, introducing the fighters in the third bout of the evening here tonight. Kong Patom for Wan Nimit in the white corner. And in the black corner, it is Towi Chai Sabrasop Chok. 73 kilograms. So there is someone in the chat. So, oh, it reminds me of Diesel Noy. Well, Diesel Noy it was around the same height. Or is around the same height, as they say. But he didn't compete at 73 kilograms. Believe it or not, he competed at 61.5 kilograms, 135 pounds. Yeah, that's just unbelievable. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Nabil esque. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Nabil also could be some 135 pounds. Can he still make that, you think? Yes. Slightly off topic, let's get back to the fight. <laughs> yes. I'm interested to see how Kompatum can do here. Got... Yeah, and as we expected, the knees come in early already from Kompatum. Oh, big right hand there from Tawi Chai. That's exactly what Tawi Chai needs to do. Just push forward. Yeah. Of course, if you are pushing forward, you're well in range. Or someone as tall. Or well, if he is pushing back, he's also in range as well. Yeah, it's big problems. When you're fighting someone like Dal Sim from Street Fighter. Right hand there through the guard from Tawi Chai. Good start to the round here. Yeah, despite being on the back foot, he is hitting the mark. He is hitting the target. Back into the click we go somewhere. You'd expect Tawi Chai to, or excuse me, Gopatu to feel very comfortable in. a lazy start to the round for Kompatum. I think a, a little bit for start. both. Yeah, slow start right now. You know, with his stature, if he has got the skills, I'm telling you, the Thai fight management will be looking at this boy. A big right hand there from Tawi Chai. Yeah, I mean, 73 kilograms. We do have tournaments for, for that. I don't think anything's ongoing at the moment. Tempted left elbow by Kompatum. Slow. That one a little bit more faster within the clinch. Good knee there by Kompatom. And again, with that right knee. Oh, just really softening up the midsection of, to of Tawi Chai. Making it look too easy so far, though, for Kompatom. Mm. 
Upper tongue, excuse me. Upper cut there. Right, Tommy Chai. Good right hand there, two right hands connecting. Then again, here's the knees from Don Patum, which, which are really scoring the points, I must say. Yeah, I mean, Tommy Chai has had a little bit of success with those right hands. But like you said, mainly those knees will be scoring in the eyes of the judges in round number one from Don Patum. I am a little bit surprised that Compton is allowing Tommy Chai to get that close. To close that just to make it so easy for him to throw that right hand. Yeah, I think it's just basing him into the, the clinch, really. That's probably where he feels the strongest as well. So I'd imagine with a stature like that, that's exactly where he wants to be. Hence, why well, you don't see him throwing much deep. Different is though, Kevin. Mean, this might be his first time fighting a hard trick and not using this. It's a big difference maker. End of round number one. Round number two, up okay. next. It can see the highlights of the opening round. Slow start there from Konkotum, the taller of the two fighters, allowing Tawi Chai to move closer and close the, close the distance. So when he did, he could then do that and engage the clinch, clinch and uh, threw some good knees throughout that first round. Yeah, quite honestly, I don't see it going any other way but Konkotum's way. I mean, those knees were just so accurate and did quite a bit of damage, I'd imagine. So in this second round, I'd expect Tawi Chai to start moving forward, start throwing harder bombs and at least try to put some combinations together. Because mm. so far, what he's doing right now just isn't working. But then again, I can say the same for Kompatun, that he needs to start yeah. pushing forward. Yeah, I want to see, I want to see a little bit more aggression than being honest from Kompatun. Well, if he does want to come back here again, that is. Yes. It has to be said. Yeah, he is doing right now at least. Tawi Chai closes the distance, Kompatum's not willing to back off. There's that knee once again, pinpoint accuracy by Kompatum. He doesn't have to really throw that knee up that high to connect to the body. Yeah, but when it does connect, when he does throw them, I mean, you can see the effects it's, ha it's having on his opponent. That right knee to the left side of Tawi Chai's body, getting marked up. He's throwing it at will, he's connecting every single time. Yeah, you can see him loading up that elbow as well. That's another thing to look out for when you're inside the clinch. Not only the knees, but the elbows, of course. Don Patum, though, not making this easy for Tawi Chai at all. Getting in close range. Good knee once again. He's struggling a lot now, Tawi Chai. Oh, that was a big right hand. And that's the risk. Right hands here from Tawi Chai. This is a good moment for him right now. And Kompatum's fighting back. Yeah, Kompatum, maybe not the wisest thing to do to exchange punches with Tawi Chai. I mean, Tawi Chai, he might be small in stature, but he packs a punch. And like I said at the end of round number one, with gloves, yes, you can run the risk of trying to close that distance. But with these rolls shots around your hands, that's right, I love, your really do it. I love your emphasis on the word distance. Yeah. That's exactly Oh, once again, Kompa Tummy's down due to the fact that Tawi Chai has come out a machine gun left and right. Has dropped Kompa Tum here in round number two. That's right, I mean, Kompa Tum, everything was going so well for him when he was clinching up, but when he started to exchange with his opponent, nothing is going right at the moment. Big problems here for Kompa Tum. And David looks like he's about to have slain Goliath as Kompatum is down for a second time. The knees are not existing at the moment. I don't think Kompatum knows where he is. Well, he's in the corner, somewhere where he doesn't want to be. I'm trying to throw the elbow, but just missing. And I'm not sure he knows where he is at the moment. But that elbow connected though, well done to him. Taking a lot of shots and that is it. Wow, how about that? Exceptional by Tawi Chai. I think when many people saw those two get into the ring, they thought that Tawi Chai was on borrowed time, but no, like we said, like we keep talking about, with those ropes wrapped around your hand, if you throw, if you connect, anything can happen. And we saw that here today, the evidence of Karchuk on full display here on TIE Fight League. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like Gopa Tump just decided to try to look for the knockout all of a sudden because his game plan was working. It was. Just wait for his opponent to come close, clinch up, throw the knee. But then, as the fight went on, he seems to have gotten overconfident, so to speak. And as you can see in the replay... In round number two, after he connected with a big right hand, 
he just went for the kill. He decided to go for it. And uh, he got his rewards. A knockdown victory, a knockout victory for Tawi Chai here on TIE Fight. Stay with us. Bout number four, up next. The winner by technical knockout is Black Corner, Tawichai Sopra Sopchon.